Hey guys, welcome back, it's Crystal. So today I have a review for you on some new products from L'Oreal. First off, let me just say my hair is super messy and I did not feel like putting jewelry on today. Um, I sound very groggy in this video. I'm just, I guess I'm very tired. Um, I only have two weeks left of my pregnancy and I've been sitting here for quite a while um, filming like the demo and also a tutorial for the look that I have on my face today. So that will be up at some point. It was a requested video, I did have this look on or a very similar look in another video. So I wanted to do a tutorial for you guys. It's been a while since I've done one. But back to the video. Um, I am going to review these new L'Oreal True Match Lumi Liquid Glow Illuminators. And they have three shades of these. So they have the liquid illuminators. And then they also came out with the powders to match. So these are called the Powder Glow Illuminators. So I'm going to go over each one. I have used all six of these products. So I have been using all six of these products um, pretty consistently this entire week so that I can give you a full review too long. But um, let's start off by going over the liquid illuminators. So first we have this one called Ice and this one is for cool undertones. So that one is an Ice. Um, then they have this one here called Rose and Rose is for neutral undertones. They have golden, which is for warm undertones. So I think it's really cool that L'Oreal came out with these that match your undertone of skin. So for me personally, I have, I would say, I would say my skin is like neutral to yellow or just a really light yellow. It's really hard for me to find foundations that are a true match for me because I am more yellow toned, but I'm like a light complexion of yellow. Most products are either way too yellow and too dark, um, so sometimes I can go for those neutral to yellow undertones, but I'm also one who likes cool tone looks. Um, I do gravitate towards cool tone looks like I have on today. So um, with that being said, I feel like for me personally, I can get away with wearing all three of these colors. Um, but if you're somebody who's like more warm toned, you probably just want to go with the one in golden. If you're more cool toned, you might want to go with the one in ice. And then if you're neutral, you might be able just to do the neutral or all three of them like I am. So I've used all three. I like the way all three look on my skin. So I've actually been really enjoying these. Um, they are pretty pricey. I will put the like prices down here. I bought mine from Ulta.com, but they were having buy one, get one half off. So I bought them online. Um, I haven't really been out searching in the stores just because I'm so far along in my pregnancy. It just gets really uncomfortable walking around a lot and my feet swell up. So. I purchased these from Ulta.com and yeah, I got them for buy one get one half off for all these products plus some other ones from Maybelline. So, so these claim that you can use them as a primer or a highlighter. So on the back it says apply all over face or use as a highlighter. Can be worn under, over, or mixed with foundation. Apply with fingertips and blend into the skin. So I've only used these two ways. I've used it mixed in with my foundation and I've used it over my foundation but I have never used it as a primer to put just on my face first and then go in with my foundation. So that is the third way you can use it but I personally haven't used it that way. I prefer to mix illuminators in with my foundation and then also apply them over my foundation. As long as my foundation is a liquid foundation. I don't like to mix creams and powders. So if I put a powder on my face I'm not going to apply like a liquid illuminator like this over it because it really just picks up and makes my foundation look patchy. So that's why I like to go in with this over a liquid foundation before I set like my under eye concealer with powder just so that it doesn't create that patchiness. All right, so first let's go over this one which is ice. So that one is ice. They are very, very pigmented. So that's what ice looks like. You can definitely sheer it out. That's just like a really heavy swatch. But um, that one is ice. This next one is rose. And this is the one that I have on today. So that one's rose. And then this one here is golden. So as you can see, they're really, really pigmented. Now, All right, so those are the swatches like full on without blending them out. So I'm gonna go ahead and blend them out a little bit. 
Okay, so I kind of tried to blend them out, but they were so close together. I've actually really, really been enjoying these mixed with my foundation, like I said before. So today I mixed it in with my L'Oreal True Match Pro Matte Foundation. I love it. I've also mixed it in with my L'Oreal True Match Lumi Foundation, which I'm trying to use this up. I have like less than half of this left. But I've been really enjoying it with this foundation as well. Um, with a more dewy foundation, it's obviously going to give you more of a dewy, glowy look. Uh, versus if you use something that's more like satin or matte finish. So it still gives you a little bit of glow, but if you use it with a matte foundation, it doesn't make you look as dewy um, if you used a dewy foundation. So if you're somebody with like oily skin, I would recommend mixing these in with a foundation that is matte. If you have oily skin, I wouldn't mix them in with a more dewy foundation just because you're probably gonna look very shiny <laughs> within a few hours um, but if you're somebody with dry skin I think that these would be great to mix in with a more dewy foundation like this or more normal skin um, I have normal skin so that's why I can mix it in with this foundation right now and I just I love it with both foundations sometimes my matte foundations can be a little too matte so right now is the perfect time for me to mix them in with like a liquid illuminator so I've actually really been enjoying these I don't feel like they're overly shimmery on my face when mixed in with foundation now you can also apply them as a primer on your face first before you apply your liquid foundation but I personally don't like doing that because these types of products can accentuate flaws so if you have like acne scars like I do like I have acne scars on my cheeks I have fine lines on my forehead Applying this as a primer because it is illuminating, it's going to accentuate flaws and I just don't want that so um, that's why I prefer to mix it in with my liquid foundation. So I've been really really enjoying those. Um, they're not like glittery or anything like that but when you mix them in with your foundation they do give you that kind of glow from within so I've been I've been enjoying those a lot. I'm actually happy that I picked them up. But if you like liquid illuminators, I think you would really like these from the drugstore. I think they are kind of pricey. They probably were like $12 or $13. So I would definitely wait till you have a coupon or till they're on sale, like buy one, get one half off or something like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and mix the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Illuminator in Rose. And I'm gonna mix that with my L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundations. I mix these two colors together. I have 101 Classic Ivory and 103 Natural Buff. So I'm mostly going to use 103, but it is a little bit dark, just a slight bit dark. So I'm just going to mix in a little bit of the lighter shade. Probably about that much on top. All right, so I'm going to take my damp beauty blender and I'm actually going to use the bottom part and just dab that right into the foundation. So that's what it looks like on the skin now I just feel like it gives my foundation just a slight glow but not dewy like it's not dewy so I've been really enjoying these um, illuminators I never used to really grab for illuminators but lately I've been getting into more like cream products like the illuminators and cream bronzers so yeah I love the way that they look because it doesn't look like like too much like I'm not really really glowy now you could apply this on your face prior to foundation application that's another way you can do it but I just prefer to mix it in with my foundation just so I'm gonna go back in with this and I'm just gonna take some on the back of my hand and I'm just gonna take the damp beauty blender and kind of just press this into the beauty blender and then I'm just going to apply this right there to the tops of the cheeks So you give it a little added glow in that area, something like that. All right, so next are the True Match Lumi Powder Glow Illuminators. So 
This is what the packaging lo looks like. I think it's really pretty, rose gold. I never really mentioned the packaging on these. I like that these are in a squeeze tube. I like that it has the rose gold at the bottom. So really nice packaging. I like squeeze tubes. They're easy to throw in your purse, uh, throw in your travel bag. So I do like the packaging on those. Um, and then as far as the packaging on these, I think it's really pretty that it has the rose gold on there. I like that you can see the product through the middle. Um, I didn't even notice until recently that these have a brush on the bottom. Um, I just happened to open one one day and it like the bottom just kind of popped open like this. So first you have the actual product here. And then if you open the bottom, you have a mirror and then you also have this little compartment for a brush, which I will probably never use this brush to be quite honest. But if I threw this in my purse, I guess, I mean, I could do it for touch-ups, but I'm not one to carry a product like this in my purse, so. So on the packaging, these say they're a blush and highlight, and then it says, apply all over face or use as a highlighter. And then it says it's a blush or highlight. Um, personally, I wouldn't use any of these as a blush because they're very glowy and they just don't have enough pigmentation to be worn as a blush on its own. All right, so let's go over the colors. So this one is ice. So it has like four different colors in there. So it has this like icy blue, icy purple, kind of like a white and then like an off white. So let me just go ahead and swatch these for you individually. I just really like mix my brush through all of the shades. I don't like gravitate towards more one color than another. So this is all the shades right there. They almost look all very similar once swatched on my hand. I mean, yeah, there's purple and blue in there, but honestly, can you really tell very much once swatched? Not really. I mean, maybe a slight bit, but. So those are the swatches right there. So they are very, very glowy. And they do have, it's not that it has glitter, because my cousin told me she swatched these um, and that they were seem very glittery, but I don't feel like they're glittery per se, but they have really, really fine micro flex in them, which may come off looking like glittery, but it's really not a glitter. So this is them all swirled together right there. So as you can see, it's very, very glowy. If you're somebody with a darker skin tone, I think this particular color in ice would be way too stark white as a highlighter for you. So I don't think this would be a good color for people with darker complexions. I think this is good for people with either uh, cool tone, cool undertones, or somebody that just has a really light complexion like myself. So I think this is really pretty. I've used it a couple times and I really, really liked it. Now the thing I will say about these, when you swatch them with your finger, they feel kind of powdery, but once you apply it to the face, they apply really, really nicely. I like the way they apply. I've actually been using them with this brush right here. This is the Sigma Soft Blend Concealer Brush, and I've been loving applying them with that. So next is the one in rose. So these are all the colors in the one in rose. And I'm sorry, if they're kind of mixed together, it's because I just swirled my finger through them and then realized I wasn't recording. So <laughs> there's just like two kind of rosy shades and then two like white and off white shades. All right, so those are the swatches there. Sorry, I turned my hand like this so that like just depending how they ca it catches the light, you might be able to see it at a certain angle better than a, a different angle. So I'm gonna mix all the colors together. They do feel really soft when I swirl my finger through it, but it does um, kick up a little bit of product. Um, so that's mixed all together. So there's the rose illuminator, which is very like rose, ro like very rose gold. Um, this one, I feel like it's pretty light for the rose shade for being for neutral undertones. I thought they would be a little bit darker, to be quite honest. So that's mixed all together. And as you can see, it's very, very light as well. So 
Again, if you're like of a really dark complexion, I think this one would be too light for you. So I think this is more for people with light, fair light or like medium skin tones. Um, I just felt like maybe this one should be a little bit darker, but you know, compared to the illuminator, the liquid illuminator one, I just feel like it's really light compared to that, but is really pretty and I do like this one as well. That is actually the one that I have on today, right here. And I also have it on the tip of my nose. So it's maybe just a slight bit darker, just a slight bit darker than the one in ice. So um, I just feel like both of these are very, very light and would be suited better for like a light complexion. Um, and then the rose one may be a medium complexion if you apply it very lightly. And the last one here is the one in golden. And then this one is definitely darker than the other ones. So you just have like gold. This one is kind of a beige, a peach, and then like a brown, a bronzy color. Now I have noticed that when I swatch my finger in this, do you see that? The pan moves. And I think that was the case for two of these. The pan does move, so I hope it doesn't fall out. If it does, I can always glue it back in. But hopefully it doesn't fall out and then I break it, you know what I mean? So out of the three, this one is definitely more distinct in the four colors that it has in it. And I feel like they don't swatch, like, amazingly on my hand. But once you put them on the face, on the skin, over, like, a liquid foundation, I think they apply beautifully. So, those are all so if you're somebody who's fair, I don't think this would be a good one for you. Even if you're like fair but like warm undertones, I, I think it would be a little too dark. So that is what it looks like right there. All mixed together. So very pretty color. I like it. So overall, um, for both products, I've been liking both of them a lot. Um, to my surprise, I like them more than I thought I was going to like them. I ordered them online. I was a little bit skeptical, actually, about them, um, especially the powders. Um, like I said, I think they apply better to the face than they do swatched. Because they do seem a little bit powdery, but once you apply them to your skin, oh, they just go on so well. So if you're somebody who likes like a really intense highlight, I think that you would like these. But if you're somebody who likes a really subtle highlight, you probably won't like these. Now I'm one who goes kind of back and forth. Sometimes I prefer a more subtle highlight. Sometimes I like a very glowy highlight. It just depends on my skin, how I'm feeling, the texture of my skin and all of that really throughout the day, if you know what I mean. So anyway, that's pretty much my review. I hope I covered everything. I'm sorry that I'm so tired and groggy sounding. I can't help it. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have an amazing day. Bye!